hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to draft a basic crop top one good thing about learning how to draft your basic patterns for your top for your skirt for your gown for your trousers and all of that is that you can do any other style of your choice once you've learned how to draft the basic patterns all right so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to draft a basic crop top so without further ado let's go right into the video this horizontal line up here is our base line it's where we are going to be taking all of our measurements done okay i'm going to place my tape this way and i'm going to come down to mark my bust point which is 10 i'll mark it right here and then i'm going to roll that point across with a horizontal line okay So the next line I'm going to mark is the length of my top. Like I said earlier, it's a crop top, so we don't need too, we don't need too many uh, measurements, okay? So the next point is the length of my um, top. So I'm going to mark 17 for this top, okay? And I'm going to root that across. I'll just go ahead and indicate on all the lines so we don't get confused and then this is my hem or the full length and then this is my shoulder line so we're done with our vertical measurement the next thing I'm going to do right here is to divide my shoulder by 2 my shoulder is 15 divided by 2 is 7.5 I'm going to mark that on the shoulder line I'm going to mark the 7.5 on the shoulder line. So from this point, I'm going to come down to mark my armhole depth. How to get your armhole depth? You divide your bust by 6, then you add 1.5 inches to it, okay? That's how to get your armhole depth. And I'm going to place my tape to make sure I have whatever I marked there is exact. So I'll just go ahead and... Connect the point with a straight line. And then I'm going to roll that line across like so. So this is my armhole. This is where my armhole will be sitting, and it's also my chest line. You can call call that or call it a chest line as well. So from here I'm going to mark my neck so i'm going to mark three for my neck width and then for my neck depth i'm going to mark five for my neck depth okay so it's three by five and i'm going to connect the two points with a curve with my curve rule like so so from this point here on this shoulder line or armhole line i'm going to come down by one inch and i'm going to connect that point into the neck this is for our shoulder slant for those of you who have been following my tutorial i'm very sure you might have gotten used to this by now you know our shoulders are not straight right so the one inch i came down is for our shoulder slant okay so i'm going to Divide my bust by 4. My bust is 34 divided by 4 is 8.5. I'm going to mark it on the chest line. And then I'm going to measure this line here. I'm going to measure it down. Whatever I have there, I'm going to divide it into two. Into two. Um, into two, yes. Whatever I have there, I'm going to divide it into two and then i'm going to mark it on the line and on this point here i'm going to come in by half an inch
and I'm going to connect it this way to this point on the chest line all right we're trying to get our armhole curve so I'm going to connect the dots together this way so this is our armhole so the next thing I'm going to do right here is to impute my body measurement my balls divided by four I'm going to mark it on the bust line is 8.5 I'm going to mark her right here and then I'm going to add one inch for ease and then another one inch for sewing allowance this um, top is going to be a free top okay so the two inches I added to the bust measurements I'm going to put it on the chest line as well so I'll come down and mark my waist measurements here eh? I weight divided by four i'm going to mark it here and then i'm going to add one inch for the two inches i added to the bust. I, I also added it to the to my waist all right and then i'm going to connect the points together This is basically it very very simple and we're going to use this pattern to cut both the front and the back okay we're going to use this pattern to cut both the back and the front so the next thing I'm going to do right here is to come down by 2.5 inch for my back neck for the depth of my back neck I'm going to come down by 2.5 inch and then I'm going to connect that point into that three inches I mark for my neck width so like this okay so it's three by two three by two point five for the back and three by five for the front and then for my back armhole i'm going to connect that point i'm going to the point i have here i'm going to connect this all the way to this point like this so this is my armhole this is my back armhole okay I hope you you're getting what I'm saying so this is all I'll just extend this front armhole into that line as well so this is basically it this is all for our pattern okay so I'll just go ahead and cut it out I'm going to cut the one for the back first so we can use it to cut the back on a fresh paper so i'll just go ahead and cut the paper out And then I'm going to cut the back neck. So this is it. So this is the back neck and this is the back armhole. So I'm going to use this pattern to cut out the back before we cut the neck and the armhole for the front, okay? So I'm going to put this pattern on a fresh pattern paper and then we'll cut out the back this top is not going to have a zipper okay it's a free crop top so we are not putting any zipper allowance or anything like that i'll just pin it down so it doesn't shift while cutting so i'll just pin it down so we can have a straight cut So I'll just go ahead and cut the back out like I said it's a free crop top so it doesn't um, need zipper allowance or anything like that so 
this is the back I'm cutting out now So this is all for the back. I'll just remove the pin, the pin so we can take the fronts off the back. So this is the back. This is all. So I'll just go ahead and cut the the front armhole. I'll just cut it out so we can have our front pattern. And then I'll also cut the front neck. <coughs> so this is it. This is all for our crop top. Very, very simple. This is the easiest way you can go about cutting your top very very simple so i'll just indicate this is the back and this is the front i'm so sorry my marker got finished at the pro at the process of you know drafting this um pattern so we just manage it like this okay so i'll just um i'll just measure around the armhole so we can cut the sleeve so I just measure the armhole now. I'll bring a fresh paper so we can cut the sleeve for um, our top. I've done tutorial on this before, so it's not going to like too detailed, okay? So I'll just make sure that my the width of my paper is up to my armhole measurement, okay? So on this close end, I'm going to come in by three inch. And then on this open end, I'm going to come down by five inch. Okay, I'll come down by five inch here. And then I'm going to connect these points together. Before then, I'll just come down to mark the length of my sleeve. Like I said, I've done tutorial on how to make sleeve, a busy sleeve before. So you can as well just go ahead and look for the video and watch, okay? since this one is not um, going to be detailed, okay? And then I'm going to connect this point like this with a slant, with a, sl a slant S. I don't know what I'm, what I'm saying again. So just look at how I'm connecting the, the, the point together, okay? More like a slant S, okay? Like this. like a slant S. It's very, very easy. It's so, so, so easy to cut, you know, sleeve. But if you don't get this one very well, like I said, you can just go ahead and watch the tutorial I made on how to cut your sleeve, okay? And then I'll divide my round sleeve and then mark it on this line. So, my round sleeve divided by two, I marked it already. Then I'll connect it, I'll connect this line to these points like so. So this is it, this is all for our sleeve. Very simple, okay?
So this is basically it for our sleeve. Very, very simple. I'm going to measure around the sleeve to see if it's up to. It's, it's, I even added like three inches allowance, okay? So this is it. When you open it, this is how it's going to look. So this is our basic sleeve. Very simple. And make sure when you are cutting, you put your mat your fabric or your material on fold to get the two sleeve, all right? Like I said, if this one is hard for you, you can just search for this particular tutorial on how to make sleeve on my channel and then you watch it, okay? So this is all for our crop top. Very easy. Thank you for staying tuned. But before you go, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do well. Support me. Subscribe. Thank you. See you in my next video. Bye.